Hey there, this is Akshat Nalan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I have talked about the app on which I have been working on for around six months now. And all those who are asking me, Hey Akshat, where is your app? Is it live? Can we try it out? Yes, you can try it out now. It's already available on Play Store and the App Store, right? So in this video, we will be talking about the features that are there in the app, which tech stack have we built. So if you are that kind of developer who wants to build your own app, publish your own app, build your own tech startup, this can be helpful because you can use my experience, get motivated and start building your app today, right? So let's go ahead, see the demo and get go. So this is how our Resume Pal mobile app looks, right? So first of all, whenever you sign up for the first time, you have to upload your resume because based on your resume itself, we are going to evaluate you in the interview, right? And uh, let's first talk about the features. Let's walk through the features and then we can talk about the tech behind it. Right. So I have already uh, given my resume. You can see I have uploaded my resume, all my information. So you can either fill it manually or you can also upload your resume PDF and it, it will automatically uh, extract all the required information. Right. So once I have done that, I'm all set to give my first AI powered mock interview. Right. So first of all, I'll click on the start mock interview and you can see that we have all the required skills. Every day we are adding more and more skills. We are supporting more and more skills. But currently you can see, th see that all the uh, you know, famous programming languages are here for practicing. For mobile development, you can practice Flutter. So what we have done is we have divided a skill set, let's, let's say Flutter, and divided into chunks so that you don't have to give the whole Flutter interview in one go. You can give multiple interviews in parts, skill by skill, right? topic by topic. Right? So let's say I want to give this interview for a block pattern. Right? So I'll choose this interview and I'll say take interview. I can see all the evaluation metrics metrics and I'll say take interview. I can also select the number of questions I want to get asked. Let's say, let's keep it simple. Let's keep three and let's say my target company is Cred because Cred usually hires flooded developers in India. So let's say I have put this information. I am going to click on confirm. As soon as I click on confirm, Arya, which is our AI um, interviewer, she's going to put a question in front of me and I have to answer, I have to speak. So not only it tests your technical skills, but it also tests your communication skills, right? How confident you speak or slowly, slowly, when you give a lot of interviews, your communication skills will automatically improve, right? So let's click on confirm. So she is our AI interviewer, Arya. Let's wait for her to generate a question for us. Hello, I'm Arya, your interviewer for the Flutter developer, state management block, role at CRED. I'll be assessing your skills in block pattern state management with block, block builder, block listener, block consumer, events and states management, dependency injection in block, and Dart language. Let's start with a general question to kick off the interview. Can you briefly explain what the block pattern is and how it is used in Flutter development? Okay, so here is a question and I have to click on this answer to answer it, right? So it has asked about the simple block like what exactly is block so let's give a simple uh, you know answer this all we know right so let's click on tap to answer so hey Arya thank you for taking my interview uh, talking about my experience with block is I uh, have been using block in my flutter app for around two years now uh, talking about the project that I built using block I built an e-commerce application and I built a grocery application where I had to manage the payments I had to manage the product listing then adding a new product, handling the orders, handling the transactions, all of this I coded using block state management. Block is usually simpler because it divides your events and states into, basically divides your business logic into events and states where the user interacts with the UI component through an event and gets back the state which actually updates the UI. So this is what uh, my experience, so let's submit the answer and let's click on Now she's going to analyze my answer. She's going to put it in the database and give another question in front of me. So let's see what we get. Can you explain the difference between block builder and block listener in Flutter's block pattern and provide an example of a scenario where you would use each of them in a Flutter application? Okay, nice question. So let's click on answer and let's answer it. So talking about the difference between block builder and a block listener, Block builder is usually used when you want to rebuild your widget component. Let's say I have loaded some data and I want to rebuild my whole list so that all the data is visible in my list, right? 
On the other hand, if we talk about a block listener, when I want to perform an action, let's say I want to show an alert dialog box or I want to show a snack bar or I want to navigate from one page to another, I may be using a, I will use a block listener because there I just want to listen to a state. I don't want to rebuild my UI. So this is a simple answer. Let's submit it. Let's Can you describe a scenario in which you would use dependency injection in block along with handling asynchronous events effectively using block in a Flutter application? So uh, dependency injection is usually used. Uh, let's say I give a wrong answer or let's say I don't answer it. So uh, I know this is recorded. So dependency injection is used whenever you want to rebuild the state and I am not very confident with it. It's submitted. Thank you for your time and participation in the Flutter developer state management block interview at CRED. Your interview report will be available soon. Best of luck in your job search. Okay, this was the first interview. See, it hardly took me like 10 minutes and my concepts of block listener, block builder and basics of letter are even, you know, refreshed or like revised, I would say, right? So let's get back and let's see the other features. So I've just given my interview, right? So let's click on these interviews and this is the uh, interview that I just gave. So let's click on it and see the report. So this is my report. You can see the overall feedback strong expertise in Flutter development, particularly in block pattern and dart language. So it not only takes the interview report, it takes the, my resume also. So in my resume, I have mentioned some projects, my education, my work experience. So that also it considers because in an interview, you not only give the interview, you also give your resume, right? So based on that, this whole interview report is being generated. We are continuously working every day to improve this report, to improve this inputs and outputs. So maybe like uh, whenever you give the interview, you may found something. So please report to us and we'll be happy to uh, review it. So these are the areas to improve. So it is saying that need for more concrete examples in differentiating between block builder and a block listener in Flutter's block pattern. That's a very, val very valid uh, area to improve. These are the questions, these are my answers which I just gave. So you can also, you know, revise your answer which you gave and you want to improve it. Later on, we'll also add the ideal answer that you are expected to give, that we will add it. These are my role-based ratings plus, uh, you know, including my resume plus my interview, right? So based on that, these ratings are provided. So let's get back and see the another feature that is our uh, flashcards. Basically these practice cards or the flashcards are there to have or to you know give uh, or to revise the concepts in the last minute. Let's say tomorrow you have your interview and you want to revise all the uh, concepts that are there in Flutter. Just click on Flutter and you can see that there are around 100 concepts that you are going to get, that you are going to revise in this flashcards. Uh, around 16 I have already you know uh, revised and they are in review. That means once you see a concept, you can say, I don't know, or I, I know, right? And if you want to see the solution, just flip it and you can see the solution. Plus you see the most, uh, you know, valid link on the internet uh, that we have curated and you can watch this video to just revise that concept. Let's say I don't know. So if I say I don't know, this concept will not go in review. If I say I know this concept, this concept will go in review. That means it is going to check again after some time whether I am perfect on in this concept or not. If I say again, I know that concept, then that concept will go in done. That means I have, I am, I am an expert of that concept and I know that concept, right? So like this, you can practice these concepts. Like what is the purpose of main function in a Flutter application? Very basic, right? Very basic. And I say, I don't know, right? I can see, see the solution. I can see some references. I can get back and I can say, I know this, or I don't know this, right? Based on you, based on your experience, right? So that's how it's, it works right? Uh, that's how this works. These are the, these are the practice cards. This is my video itself. So these are the practice cards, right? So let's get back and let's see the third main feature, key feature that is your resume analysis, right? Because let's say tomorrow is an interview and you are not very sure whether your resume is perfect or not. Just get here, just reach here and let's say, let's begin, right? You can upload your resume and you are going to get a proper insights report on your resume at plus you can even chat on your resume. Let's say, let's see an example. My analyzed resume, let's say this is my resume. This is a proper report, right? Again, this feature is still in an alpha and we're continuously working to improve this feature. My grammar score, overall score, content score, clarity score, my quantifying impact because numbers are important in your resume. So yes, I have included numbers, so I have put a quantifying impact uh, through my resume. So there is some repetition which I need to improve. Resume length, so your resume length is ideally uh, between 300 words to 500 words. So yes, uh, resume length is not correct in my resume. 
then uh, all the titles you know all the basic checks education is mentioned work experience is mentioned summary section is there or not so suited for like which all jobs i'm best suited for basic checks key skills general feedback so this is important when you are a beginner and you don't know anything about resume analysis or perfect be creating a perfect resume this is important plus you can chat with arya which is again our ai interviewer let's say i want to uh see the good points in my resume right i'll say good points and it is going to give all the good points on in my resume let's say i want to see uh the non tech questions or the improvement areas in my resume i'll say improvement areas and it is going to give me all the improvement areas which are possible in my resume right so this is all about resume pal uh, for now uh these are the main features that we have built and we are ready with go check the link in the description download the app and try it right now talking about the tech this app is built completely in flutter mobile development framework which is a cross platform mobile development framework provided by google uh, it uses dart programming language right and uh, it took almost around 4 uh, to 5 months to build this app talking about the back end uh, we are using firebase for analytics and authentication we are using mongodb for as a no sql database and uh, we are using digital ocean for our cloud services so this is all you know the basic and yes open ai open ai and 11 labs we are using for audio generation and the uh, you know text generation and uh, basically as an llm right open ai gpt4 right so this is all about the tech that we have used to build this app i am uh, excited to launch this and uh, kudos to the team behind it plus i would like to know the feedback from your side go check out the stores uh rate us give a proper review uh, according to your feedback you can reach out to me on my linkedin and on my email akshay@resumepal.xyz uh so that i can hear a feedback from you and we keep on improving it so till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot